So I know most of you reading the title for this video are probably thinking I'm crazy, expecting Ashes of Creation to launch in 2023. Because looking at the development time of this game, it just kind of seems insane. They've been doing it for years, and it feels like there's no end in sight. But hear me out. Let's first point out that Ashes of Creation started its development way back in 2015 when Intrepid hired its first members to work on the game. So it's been at least seven years of active development, and we have been seeing in-game footage of the world since 2017. So for a while now, I've had this theory that the world map is actually pretty complete for the game. I don't mean completely filled to the brim with content yet, but at least has its basic structures laid out. Which we even know is true because we've got the updated world map and Steven said they even took a lot of information out of this, giving details about the world. Which we would assume this would mean like starting zones and dungeons and all of that. Also in some of the older pre-alpha gameplay, we see a ton of the zones, some familiar and a lot that we have not seen in any alpha testing or gameplay. And if you go through it, there is a huge amount of the world actually shown in the last seven years. We even have seen the desert biome in its pre-alpha form way back in the Nodes 2 video and I'm convinced that after seven years, Intrepid has the majority of the map down when it comes to terrain, and the art department is just going through the phases now of updating the art. We have seen numerous dungeons through environment previews, gameplay, all the way from pre-alpha to alpha 1, and we have even seen the PvP arenas. Yes, a lot of this is from older footage, but they are built, and really all Intrepid would need to do is go back with the art team and update the textures and potentially add new props to meet the current standards. We have seen a lot of the core features working as well in the past. We saw sieges in Alpha 1, although not in open world yet and in an instanced area, we do know that Intrepid has had castle sieges in the world at one point before Alpha 1 being tested. We've also seen nodes working up to stage 3 in Alpha 1, and Steven said a few months ago that all of node perks and building types for the four types of nodes have been done for a while and were in the test phase. And if all the perks in the buildings are done, then they more than likely have nodes working up through the Metropolis stages as well. If you haven't noticed, Intrepid does a lot of passes on the art department, making the game look better and better. We've seen this a few times, such as the Curse Charger, for example. As Steven showed a few live streams ago, the updated models as they're going back through the older models and giving them a more modern look. And you can even see it from the Alpha 1 gameplay to the Alpha 2, as the world looks much better since it has had the Unreal 5 switch. This really shows with the races as well. The humans alone seem to have gone through four phases that we know of, really showing the updates over the years, and we know a lot of the other races as well have had updates this year alone. Which leads to my next point of being the majority of the races at this point are either close to or implemented into the world of Vera. This is key for world development because you need these races in the games with the starting zones and the cities and all of that to make the world feel populated with the NPCs. And when I say complete, I don't mean they're 100% customizable, but at least the base race is there. We have seen models for just about all of the races with the exception of the Tolnar, and we have yet to see the updated Renkai, Nikua, and the humans, but we know they're coming very soon as we've seen the concept in the last streams, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see them next month. We've also seen 5 out of 8 of the class archetypes so far, leaving out the Rogue, the Summoner, and the Bard, and honestly, I would imagine this is one of the more challenging things to nail down, making sure each ability, each stat, and each animation all works properly together, along with being balanced out with the 64 class combination. We have even seen some of these combinations, such as the Weapon Master, which Steven was playing with in the basic melee weapon preview, and we've even seen the Scout way back in some pre-alpha gameplay, so I imagine Intrepid has how they want each of these classes to perform pretty locked down at this point. Really, the only thing we are missing now is naval content, crafting, and the remaining classes from a feature standpoint that we know of. We know the world is already being filled with questing, there's questing in Alpha 1, they have caravans working, they have sieges working, they have the nodes working. The biggest feature I think that's left for Intrepid to nail down would be the naval content and crafting following right behind it. So what exactly is holding up the game then? Well, I think hiring for one. If you follow Ashes of Creation on social media, you'll know they have tons of jobs posted almost every week and there have been a few on there that have yet to be filled even after months. And Margaret even tweeted those specific jobs on her personal Twitter last night, probably trying to get some more traction on them. So 
if you need a job, you know where to look. One of these jobs though is for the senior economy designer, which the economy will be a big part of the game. And I could see this potentially holding up a bit of the development, trying to get the right person in on this to get the economy nailed down. Combat is another system I think that's holding this up. We've known for months now that combat is getting revamped and we've seen the melee and the ranged combat updates, but there is no way Intrepid would even open up spot testing for Alpha 2 before this is finalized. But I imagine it's getting close now, and once that beast is out of the way, I think things will really start to speed up. Class spells and abilities are one of the big things that will need fine tuning and plenty of player input, which we won't be able to test properly until the combat is finished. But you can bet this will be a big part of the testing. Alpha 2 will be a huge deal when it comes to the promotion for the game, from content creators and bringing new people on board, so you want this game to be as polished as it can be going into Alpha 2. The Alpha will obviously still have bugs and unfinished features, but not as much as Alpha 1, because this is really the big reveal to the world that the game is working as promised. Alpha 2 is said to be persistent through launch as well, so you really want things to be semi-polished before the Alpha even starts, as you don't want to be stuck in the Alpha stages forever, or people will lose interest, especially when you have the majority of the content shown throughout YouTube. So my theory here, and bear with me, it's just a theory, but I bet we'll see Alpha testing dates announced in December for quarter one of 2023. Obviously, it'll be persistent from here and the game will be constantly being updated throughout the Alpha 2 and tweaked as they listen to feedback. And I bet this will happen through quarter two and in quarter three of 2023, we will get betas one and two. It's even said that the beta phases will be short and sweet. At this point, the betas are the final polished stage of the game and the game will be pretty close to done, which would lead to the launch window being somewhere in quarter four of 2023. I'm sure I won't convince a lot of you, but I am very confident that once the combat is done by the end of this year, things will really start to move quickly through Alpha 2. Do you think we will see the launch of Ashes of Creation next year? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just be ready for when the game finally launches. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.